Hey folks, I'm headed for Androscoggin Lake today, which is located just next door to my home lake. Uh, it's a fun spot to land if I'm just out doing an evening flight after I get out of work, uh, but the lake has some pretty cool features to it. Uh, most of the lake is privately owned, so I can't really pull up on any of the nice sandy beaches unless I get permission from the owners, but it's still a big lake. It's lots of fun to splash around in, lots of space. So, unfortunately, I've had some maintenance issues lately, so I haven't been able to fly as much as I've wanted. But I think I've got them all ironed out now, so I'm going to try and leave the plane on floats as far into the fall as I can. And hopefully I'll uh, get to a few more lakes and make a few more videos for you folks. So, also, I've been messing around with uh, some new GoPro cases for my wing mount. And the one I used today put the camera out of focus a little bit, but I think it still looks fairly good. So you folks will just have to bear with me until I can find something that works a little better. Alright, let's get going. So you can see here, I'm dealing with some pretty glassy water, which may look really pretty, but it's not a lot of fun to land on. Um, so I'm really hoping that the breeze kicks up before I have to come back in. So Andrews Garden Lake is near and dear to my heart since it's located in my hometown. It's an almost 4,000 acre lake, but the average depth is only 15 feet, and the deepest spot is only 38 feet deep, which means it's a pretty warm lake. All of my fellow limnology geeks would be interested to know that it's homothermous or the same temperature throughout the lake. Now like I said, the lake has a whole lot of cool features black sands of Lothrop Island to the Dead River Delta, which extends almost two miles into the middle of the lake. The western side of the lake has the Bracket Longley Rare Plant Habitat Area, which designates 40 acres of habitat for rare plants, and Androscoggin Lake is the only place in Maine where cattail sedge can be found. Now, like I said, it's mostly privately owned, but there are some public campsites available on some of the islands. If you're interested, you can find more information on the Cadet Land Trust website, and I'll put a link to that in the description. There's a public boat launch available off of Route 133 in the little village of Wayne, and I'm going to fly right over the top of it along the western shore here, over the Dead River Delta, 